Well, hello, this is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. I hope someone's having a good day. It's nice out here for a change. Nice, clear skies. Anyways, I had two tarps here. You guys have seen this one, the Free Soldier tarp. Let me get down so you guys can see it. 10 by 10. You saw that one tarp configuration I did. That title, if you want to go back and watch it to see me set it up like this, because we're going to do the same thing here. It's called This Should Work in the Downpour or in the Rain, whichever I titled it. Let's hop on my YouTube channel, you'll see, and you can check out that tarp configuration. This one, I'm not going to show how you set it up. I done showed it with this one, but we're going to set this one up the same way. It's smaller. I played with this one off camera a few days ago. I'll tell you right now, the sleeping pad I had wouldn't fit without sticking out the sides of the quarter. That thicker tarp configuration. So if you're going to spend a night in tent like set up with this tarp, you might want to have yourself a leaf bed. Or pine needle bed or wherever you have. But anyways, we'll get this set up and I'll get back with you. Alright folks, this is what it looks like. Yes, it's definitely smaller. Set up the exact same way. Now I'm going to show you what I could probably do a little bit differently with this for the car on the side there. I could probably take a bursic loop and go ahead and attach that. That raises up a hair higher. Did you see that? And if I wanted to, after I was through doing that, I'd probably do the same as a free soldier tarp. That means I'm using a ridge line here. Now you get a very long bursic loop here. And do the same thing. Pull it back back there. Just like that. And that'll give you even more room in there. We're going to have a look inside there. Another thing to close it off, if this time I wouldn't try, I'd try that stake in the rest of it. I got a rock right there. So I got to watch where I stick my knees. But you could carabine this thing. Take it inside and carabiner. Carabiner and just attach it like that. But to get inside there, and I'll show you how much room there is. I mean, there's room, don't get me wrong. And there could be more room for I to show you with more tie outs on this line. So let's get in there and I'll get back with you. Alright, folks, I've got to throw my phone around. But anyways, my head has to be over here so I can set up like this. If I have it where my feet are, which my feet aren't right there, they're right there. You would have to be in here diagonally. Like my head's at this corner and my feet are at this corner. I'm going to switch you down here. You can see this. I'm at this corner. I am kind of curled up. I mean, if this was a emergency situation you were in the rain, this would work. But this is what, this is not my favorite tarp configuration for the Pathfinder tarp because of how, the size of it. If I had to use this tarp configuration, I would prefer the Free Soldier tarp. We're going to do some more work on this because I'm going to show you a different tarp configuration that I used during my hitchhiking days. And I'll get back with you. Alright. We're going to go ahead and set this tarp up. I'll drag you a little bit down here so you can see from here. Now I'll drag you in closer and explain things. But first let me tell you how high the first ridge line was I had. It was to my chest for that particular tarp configuration. Now I got down to about my stomach or my waist. That's how high I got this for this particular tarp configuration I'm about to do. I'll get back with you. Let me kind of tilt my camera and I'll get back with you. Alright, now that I got you down here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it. And I'm basically going to A-frame it a little bit. So all I got to do, I try to drag it closer. You have to forgive the wind. Just like that. Like that. If you're having problems getting your toggles stained, just go ahead and grab your tarp. And just like this. Keep a hold of it. I come down here now. Sit 
from that a little bit. Now I'll tell you about this particular set right you do not want the wind blowing directly and flowing. It's only this part of the yard I have to work in, so I'm just dealing with it. Like that. Now I can pull tight. There we go. As soon as they get the right loop. Yeah. Alright, hold on a minute. Make sure it's the right loop. Anything Christmas. How many times have I done this? I'm gonna get behind here. I must take it out. We're starting a frame style. I'll show you what I'm up to here in a minute. Let me get back here. Going on three. Got a few more stakes here. Got my hammer. I was gonna just come right here. I'm going to stake this corner. Just like that. Get it in there. When it's kind of messing with me again, that's all right. I'm back over this way. Whoops. Same thing. May have to adjust the other stake there. a little bit earlier. There's this yard. That's where we grow rocks sometimes. You gotta be watching when you're mowing. Yeah. Now I shouldn't have to adjust it. Let me do this real fast. I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit here. There we go. There we go. get back to you guys. I only got one tent stake on you another one. Usually you use toggles if you're in the woods. So let me grab another toggle. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. I got some more paracord here. Two lines of it. I got some limbs I just recently cut from a tree over there. And I'll show you one of my favorite tarp setups, especially during my hitchhiker days. I didn't know nothing about the rest of the tent, sorry. I usually use the A-frame, which I can stake that other corners down there for corners I have an A-frame. Or I can lift that up, which is what I'm about to do. So hold on a minute, I'll get back with you guys. And I'll walk around the tree.
Alright. Let's discuss these limbs here. Sometimes trying to find straight limbs in the woods is kind of hard to do. This one's really bad. I can work with it though. So let's work with it. First thing I'll do, let me put these somewhere I can get to it. Let's send down here for now. Because I have these loops. These might have to be too tall. We're about to find out. And see, there goes the wind. This is facing the wrong direction. I'll tell you that much right now. take the loop. Wind's messed me a little bit, but that's alright. So now what we'll do now, I'm gonna get back with you. I gotta make a few adjustments. Hold on a minute. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. I got a thumb in my loop here of my tarp. We're gonna take this bow and we're gonna shove it through here. I'm gonna make a quick release. Let's get it in there. Oops, are kind of small. Oh, come on. There we go. All I'm gonna do is, and this is the bow that I'm using here, the bow or not. All I'll do now is take it. I'm gonna make that pocket. See, there's the pocket. And I'm gonna take the toggle, or in my case, tent stake. If you're in the woods, plain stakes in there, and that's how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try. I'll get back with you because I gotta drop so I can get my stick. Alright, the only thing I'm gonna do, and it's nothing special, is just wrap. You can wrap it once or twice, but I find that once is this usually good enough. I'll go ahead and wrap it twice. I didn't on that part, but we'll go ahead and wrap it twice. Like I said, nothing special. And I'll get down there and I'll make a modern spike hitch. So I'll get back with you. And then we'll show you around my tarp set, but I'll show you this first, but I'll get back with you. Alright, this right here during my hitchhiking days was my tarp, favorite tarp configuration. If I didn't have any friends, I had it like this, I just lift the top. This is basically a lean to with the porch. So you can get down in here. And I could probably fold the back up if I wanted to. Get myself even more room. I can lay here. Plenty of room. Or if I didn't want to be back there, I can sit up there, man. Now my head is touching. If I can sit here, wiggle on something, stuff like that. If I had stuff done, it was raining. Make sure that the wind isn't blowing this direction. I'm having a little bit of problem with that. Because this is the only part I have to use to set up a tarp. And be able to show you guys in my yard. But this works. And if you can set cross leg, which I can't, Indian style. Then even the better. Because then you can really do what you have to do. If you're having to whittle stuff, carve something, or whatnot. And you can even set this up higher, which is called flying the tarp. And the minute the weather starts getting really bad, then you can A-frame it. All I gotta have to do is drop these corners. I'll get back with you with this because we're gonna take a walk around. All right, here's what we got going on. You already saw me do the stick. I came down here using the modern spy hitch, nailed it down, and this rolled up the rest of my paracord. This here is a quick release. There's my Come through here, bolt in, pull that, and it should come undone. Almost like the modern spy catch. Here's what it looks like from the back. Pathfinder, of course. Now, if you do this free soldier tarp like this, it's going to be even bigger. But as far as small tarps is a concern, the Pathfinder tarp ain't bad. It's a lot of weight. Much lighter weight than my free soldier tarp is. I'll tell you that much right now. 
but the same deal here this quick releases on my bursic loops same over here this quick releases and if you look I did the same thing over there a quick release the limb I found or cut off a tree they're not exactly straight I'll be quite honest with you as you can see the way it's bending and that one's about the same more at the bottom with the bend and I used the hold on a minute there we go the Marlin spy catch over there and this nailed it down that's all I did but anyways I'll get back with you guys and we'll say the usual stuff towards the end well anyways I now have a little bit of social media going on my Facebook Cal Emery I also have Emery Cal Instagram my Instagram now I have what they call Instagram threads as well I set that up today so look for me there with some of my posts so let's put this to end this video if you like what you see hit the thumbs up um, go ahead and subscribe to me for those that are Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell where we can stay notified and Everything we can do is drop me a comment. I do appreciate and enjoy the comments so I learn off each other We can also share the video out the way we can stay informed and keep up with each other Other than that is Kyle Cow's Tracks and Tracks. I will see you on the next one. Bye guys and thanks for watching